What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So just a few days ago I made a video recreating Arc 2 and a lot of you guys requested some tutorials for the mechanics that I made, for example the inventory, crafting, chopping trees, building system and so on. So in this uh, simple tutorial I'm gonna basically show how I made my chopping tree system for my Arc 2 recreation survival game. Um, so it's not gonna be like other tutorials where I just uh, show you step by step how to make it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just run through my blueprints and code and show you how I did it, kind of more of an overview. Um, so hopefully you guys will understand everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. It's gonna be a very easy to, uh, to follow. So the first thing that you have to make sure is that you have a uh, basically a new static mesh foliage component. So what I mean is that, for example, we go into the foliage uh, section over here. As you can see, we have um, my trees over here, right? And basically, we have this section over here, which is the component class. Now, by default, it is on foliage instant, uh, instant static mesh component. And this basically doesn't contain any logic rather than the uh, core for um, just spawning the trees, right? And being able to be rendered there. But the thing is that what we can do is create a child from this class, which is what I did here with the BP in their interactive foliage, and be able to add some logic into our instance trees. So basically what you have to do is just go and create a child from foliage instance item image component. So just right click, blueprint class, foliage instance uh, static image component so you select this say select and then you will be able to create a child and so i'm going to show you what i did over here so let me go ahead and just close everything to be neater and just open this up so this is my code for it and um, so what i did was basically create an interface so i can call this chop event so the interface is just this bpi foliage interaction and it is as simple as just having this chop function which has three inputs the damage uh, taken to the tree the hit result so i can get of the parameters as the um hit uh, um, index for the tree and then also the investigator and this is just the actor that basically hit the tree so i can know uh, the actor a multiplayer and so on so basically on here once i have uh, received this event what i can do is do my logic and there is where i take the health and if so i spawn the physics tree remove distance and um the tree will fall and so on so to make things simple what i'm going to do is just go ahead and basically use sprint string so i can show you how it will work um of course i will show you in a second all the other details as the line trace into the into the, from the player to the tree so i can interact with it so let me go ahead and uh, show you real quick so let me go ahead and press play over here and if it loads there we go so for example i don't know let's just go into this tree over here so you will see that when i go into the tree i can just start hitting it and we got some decals on so i can show you again uh, how i did it but you can see hello being applied there it's very tiny but you get the idea uh, so basically you can see that logic is already working and um, but of course what I do is another stuff So what I do is basically have this array At the start of all these stats with our own uh, my own uh, Structure the thing is that why I'm doing this the thing is that these trees when they are instanced by this foliage system or even the procedural foliage system and by Unreal, they're done in groups, okay? And this is just to basically improve performance. And they're done, yeah, basically in groups. So what we need to do is go and go through all the instance, uh, instances on this group and set the health to be zero. And um, the instances are basically each tree. So I'm basically going through all the trees in that group and then assigning the health. Now, yes, I did the other way around. Instead of having the health initially at 100 and then subtracted until zero, I don't know why, but I just ended up doing the other way. So I start at zero and then I add it up. And when it's at, at one, I will just destroy the tree. Okay, it's a bit different, but you get the idea. So basically, when I just chop this, what I would do is get my uh, the damage that I caused, and then I just get that uh, health from that specific index of that specific tree, and then set it. And then I just print it so I can debug it. And then if it's bigger than, than one, what I do is just go ahead and spawn my physics tree. 
and then just play sound and remove the instance. As you can see, this is not a normal destroy, and this is because they are not actors, they are basically just renders. So I just get the instance, get that index, and remove it. Um, so that's pretty much what I do. So let me go ahead and quickly show you the line trees, what I do into the trees. So if I go into my uh, character blueprint, over here, my first person character, you're gonna see <laughs> all I got here. Now it's extremely unorganized. I just basically did this for a quick video. I had not in mind making this like super, um, you know, I guess expandable in the future, but you get the idea. Basically, when I left click, which is this action, I will go ahead and do a line trace from my camera's uh, point a bit forward. So when I detect a component, what I do is check if it has that interface the BPI function interface that I created, and then I will be able to call this event chop. So what I do is don't worry about the casting and the interact foliage. This is not necessary with an interface, but I had to get this out of mesh for the rocks and stuff, but don't worry. Basically what I do is just um, do the chop here. So now I have a separate custom event because I had to make an RPC for the multiplayer, but just imagine this chop is just connected here. So basically we'll pass in the component, the damage, which is 0.1, the hit, which is this the information here, and then the investigator, basically that. And then what I do is, well, I mean, that will then send into here. But then what I do is add a deco, so it looks a bit nicer, play now a sound, and some particles just like wood coming out. And basically the, the, the deco, for example, is not something crazy. Basically, there's this call, this node called spawn deco. You can do a location or attach. And then this is just a material from Megascast, which you put it, which is nothing crazy. And it's plugging the, the location and stuff, right? Um, so with that said, the same with the sound and with the Niagara system. And let me just quickly show you my, uh, basically my, physics tree. So for example, if I uh, were to press play here and go here and break the tree, I will break the tree. You can see the decals and particles appearing, nothing crazy, but you can see the debug up there, the health increasing. And then when I get to one, I will basically destroy the tree. And if I push it a bit, sometimes the physics are not so great as you can see, but it will go ahead and start falling. And basically that tree is destroyed and it is replaced by a new spawned physics actor. And yeah, it's, the physics aren't so great. Like I mentioned before, there's a lot of things to do with the message stuff, but basically if I open up the physics tree, nothing crazy, we have the mesh and then a variable and with a tree mesh. And then in the construction graph, I just assign that variable mesh into the actual mesh itself. And then at the start, I just disable the collision for a frame. So why do I do all this? Well, for example, when I spawn the tree, there are many types of trees, right? There's palm trees, there are big trees, and with different meshes. So basically, I can just plug in the current mesh of the tree that I'm destroying, or chopping down, into that mesh. So I don't have to have different blueprints for each one, I can just directly plug it in there. And also then, uh, because I am removing the instance after instancing or spawning the tree, um, if they both had collisions, it will overlap, collide, and explode. So that's why I'm basically just uh, waiting a bit to enable the collision so it has time to remove the mesh and then collide with each other. And that's really pretty much it. I mean, there are many more things that you can do in order to go ahead and make it feel better, but that's pretty much what you have to do. What you have to do is make this uh, BP interactive foliage from the uh, from the static mesh foliage uh, spawner, whatever it was called and then um, basically make an interface so you can go ahead and call it from here and then make an structure and an array to pass on. Right, let me quickly show you the structure, basically just has health, as simple as that, okay? Nothing crazy. Um, but that's pretty much it. And you know, I'm gonna be making more uh, tutorials on the Arc 2 recreation that I made very soon. So if you want to see more, go ahead and comment it in the description below. And um, also I'll be linking my Arc 2 recreation video if you just want, in case you want to see it. Now, yes, with what I said, uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you found the so helpful. Uh, I would really appreciate it. And also uh, go ahead and join my Discord. So now, yes, with what I said, bye bye.